All three of the perennially popular Honda 500s are getting a makeover for 2024, but the NX500 is the most noticeable with its new name. The artist formerly known as the CB500X is now the NX500, a Honda NX standing for new X over as nothing new though on these shores it's not been seen since the 650 Dominator of the 90s the air-cooled single-cylinder urban trails bike. The 2024 A2 license-friendly manifestation of this mini-adventurer fits in alongside the CBR500R and CB500 Hornet which all continue to use the same 471cc parallel twin in the light middleweight category. Updates to the 2024 Honda NX500 include an ECU update to improve acceleration, new wheels to help weight saving, revised suspension settings, better headlight and a new screen and switchgear with enhanced tech. The firm's 471cc liquid-cooled parallel twin should be bulletproof, and being compatible with an A2 license it makes a peak power figure of 35 kilowatts, which is 46, 2 bhp in real life. And that is way up there at 8600 revolutions per minute a heady figure that encourages you to use all the revs available, Peak torque can be found at 6,500 revolutions per minute which registers 43 newton meters at 31, 7 pound feet which is still high enough for a bike whose prowess is in the low mid-range. Fuel injection setting had been improved for the previous version though some still complained of a jumpy low speed throttle connection. You'll have no problem climbing to three figures if the opportunity arose and winding on from 40 miles per hour for an overtake in third gear will be easy pickings, though momentum is key if you're familiar with more powerful machines instead. Traction control is an addition for the 2024 model as a bonus for the rider's peace of mind though it can still be turned off. New wheels and revised suspension settings are part of the attraction and headlines with the new model. The 19-inch front and 17-inch rear cast aluminium wheels are completely new and move being a Y-shaped 7-spoke design to one with 5 spokes to save a combined 1.5 kg between them which should marginally improve handling with an emphasis on turning quicker. The already lightweight package now weighs in a total of 3 kg less than before at a total of 196 kg. New spring rate and damping settings in the Showa 41mm separate function form big piston upside down forks are said to improve reaction and feel for both road and off-road riding. Meanwhile similarly new settings can be found in the monoshock at the rear, an area of the CB500X that I noted during my time with it in the UK during the early part of 2022 required improving. Riding I found the rear compression a little too soft while the rebound matched. The chassis mainly comprises of a diamond tube mainframe to which the engine is mounted. It sits low keeping the bulk of the weight low too. Handy for agility which is also accentuated by how narrow the bike is and how much steering angle from lock to lock is available. The NX500's price point is the USP and to achieve that Honda has had to be careful with what equipment has been included as standard and what can be fitted as part of the accessory range. Accessories add weight too, so while we can complain about the lack of handguards or heated grips, they are available as extras. Nevertheless like its predecessor, the NX500 is a narrow, lightweight crossover adventurer with a very comfortable saddle and riding position that lacks frills but promises a unintimidating yet fulfilling ride with build quality and an excellent dealer back up to boot. Classy handling and a strong engine were among the highlights of the outgoing CB500X, and there's nothing in the details we have so far to suggest the NX500 will be any less good. Part of its charm is its low running costs the 17,5-liter tank and acclaimed economy figure nearing 80 mpg should easily have you covering 275 miles between petrol stops. The average Bennett's premium for the 2022 CB500X is 216 pounds, 60. For a relatively simple bike, there's little in the way of complex rider modes or wheelie control settings but instead the rider is blessed with a new 5-inch full-color TFT screen that makes its way over from the 2023 Transalp which is operated via new and simplified switchgear that has praised the Lord Backlit. 
Honda offers a RoadSync connectivity app for on-screen turn-by-turn navigation for iOS and Android devices. You'll need a Bluetooth helmet headset to enjoy the other functions such as making calls or listening to music. As mentioned above the bike now comes with traction control which is new for the 2024 model. In addition to the plethora of individual official accessories comes four packs from Honda known as Adventure, Travel, Urban and Comfort which include the type of accessories the manufacturer believes will enhance your kind of riding, from heated grips or a center stand, to fog lights and panniers.